Hi everyone, I'm Roy from Elementor, and welcome to yet another First Look. In this video, we'll unpack the powerful new updates in Elementor 325, from improving performance with conditional CSS loading, to new scrolling enhancements and an even smoother live search experience. So, let's get started. It's no secret that a common pain point with many plugins is that they can add weight to your websites, causing pages to load slowly and impacting the overall user and visitor experience. And let's face it, in today's fast-paced digital world, speed is everything. We believe that beauty and performance should go hand in hand, which is why we're continuing with the efforts in optimizing our CSS code, restructuring the code that will previously drag your websites down sometimes, and actually Elementor 325 takes conditional CSS loading to the next level because the Elementor Pro plugin now starts with zero CSS weight, meaning that you can start with no CSS at all and it grows with you as you create. In addition to that, Elementor 325 conditionally loads WooCommerce styles, widget styles, and global styles. Previously, when using WooCommerce widgets, styles were loaded for all the 32 widgets, even if you were only using one. Now, in Elementor 325, the styles load conditionally, saving you up to 197 kilobytes of CSS, significantly improving the performance of your WooCommerce-powered websites. We also worked on condition loading the styles of more of our Elementor widgets, specifically theme elements, carousel widgets, and forms. And besides that, version 325 also conditionally loads global styles, saving you up to another 65 kilobytes of CSS per page. Next, let's talk about how we're gradually reducing our reliance on JavaScript in favor of CSS and how it not only improves your performance, but now also provides you with a smoother scrolling experience across all devices. So far, we use JavaScript to create smooth scrolling effects. And while it's effective, we often received feedback on its drawbacks, including additional performance overhead and certain inconsistencies in behavior across devices. That's why in Elementor 325, we've replaced the Anchor JavaScript library with a native CSS solution, ensuring faster, smoother, and more efficient scrolling on your websites. This also enabled us to add a new Anchor offset control. So Anchor links are the hyperlinks that are normally attached to your headers and take your visitors to a specific section within the same page. But a common issue with anchor links is that they tend to scroll to a position underneath sticky headers. Basically before this update, when the link to the anchored section was clicked, the page would automatically scroll so that the top of the section was aligned with the top of the viewport. But we didn't really have much control and in some cases the sticky header was hiding beautiful content, breaking the consistency of the design. But now, with this new anchor offset control, Elementor Pro users can set anchor links to scroll to the desired and correct position, ensuring all content is visible. I'll show you how it looks. So in my header, I'm gonna go to advanced, then motion effects, and here are all the controls I'll be working on now. I want to first set it to be sticky on top, so that way it stays on top while the visitors scroll down the page. Now I can go ahead and set the relevant offset values. You see here, this is where I also have the new anchor offset control. So while the sticky offset previously named simply offset, allows you to modify when the sticky element becomes sticky, the new anchor offset allows you to set a scroll gap above the target of the anchor link. So scrolling to that anchor will offset the sticky element's height and it won't overlap the anchor content. In this case, I'm going to set the anchor offset to 80, which is the exact height of my sticky header. Okay, this should work. Now let's see how the scroll behaves. Great, as you can see, everything is visible exactly as it should be, nothing hides the content. By reducing JavaScript usage and leveraging modern CSS, Elementor empowers your pages to load faster and run more efficiently. With our new Anchor Offset feature, Elementor gives you full control over scrolling behavior for both sticky elements and anchor links, ensuring a seamless experience for you and for your visitors. <music> Lastly, an exciting upgrade to the live search experience one that many of you were asking for, and I'm talking about pagination options. So Live Results is part of Elementor Pro's search widget, and it enables visitors to see the results while they type, increasing site exploration, conversion rates, and visitor experience. Up until now, when search results exceeded the number of items displayed in Live Results, visitors couldn't see additional results right away. They had to click Search and or Enter, be redirected to the search results archive, and then they can navigate through the results. But now we added pagination, meaning visitors can view and interact with more search results directly within the live search dropdown. Let's see what it looks like. First, let's drag in the search widgets. Now we want to turn on live results and then choose which loop template we want for our live results. Okay, now the widget is set and live results are active, but let's enable pagination as well. We'll go to additional settings and this is where we can choose the type of pagination. We have numbers, previous next, or we can also do a combination of both. Let's go for numbers this time. And another thing we can also do is set a page limit. Okay, after we got that set up, we can of course design and style the pagination. So we'll do that from the style tab. 
We can easily adjust the alignment, whether that's left, center, or right, and we can use vertical positioning to place the pagination below or above the results. There's also flexibility with spacing, allowing us to fine-tune the widgets layout. And when it comes to typography, we can switch up fonts and colors to perfectly match our website style. Plus, by adding hover and active state styling, we can create micro-interactions that further enhance the visitor experience. There we have it, another step forward with Elementor's search experience, helping visitors find what they're looking for. So, that's Elementor 325, packed with improvements to help your websites perform better and make your web building process even smoother. Update now, let us know what you think in the comment section below, and of course, we look forward to seeing your results in the global Elementor community. I'm Roy from Elementor. See you next time.